challenge as large and as complex as COVID-19 is, needs unconventional approaches and innovation to tackle this challenge. And here I must recognize the leadership role played by the Ministry of ICT, and I really want to commend the vision of the Honourable Minister, Minister Paula Ungaberi. Uh, she spoke with me early on in this process and outlined the idea that her ministry and the government had to use these robots in the fight against COVID-19. Minister, I'm very proud that today we have our partnership has helped to realize that vision that you and your government had. And again, this is just such an exciting initiative and I commend you on that bold idea. Having the robots here today is part of a broader uh, agreement that we have uh, uh, the government of Rwanda through the Ministry of ICT and Innovation that we have with the UNDP family and Ngavo Rumuria Kazuba Echizere as well as Niza uh, uh, are part of the other initiatives that UNDP Rwanda has helped us. I think you're all very aware that um, uh, once we were faced with this pandemic we started some social protection programs around distribution of food and uh, UNDP you know, was quick to support us with uh, building a system that allows uh, for this food distribution effort to be you know, seamless and easily monitored and managed. So this comes really as part of the other efforts that have already been in the pipeline and more to come uh, during this partnership that we are having with them. Um, the COVID pandemic has really in many ways um, you know, underscored uh, really the need for technology. Um, and I also wanted to take this opportunity to thank uh, the Minister of Health, uh, together with your, the you know, RBC and the other teams, uh, for being so quick to embracing technology as a way that supports the COVID-19 interventions that, are already, uh, that have already been undertaken. The addition of Ngavo and uh, the other robots into your COVID-19 interventions is timely, and I know that there's more to come in terms of how we can really leverage technology to respond to this pandemic and even beyond. Um, these robots are going to be used uh, beyond just um, you know, epidemiological prevention, uh, but also you know, looking at other ways that they can support. I know very particularly they've been designed to help with the mass screening um, of temperature, but also even taking vital um, you know, records for the patients that are going to be within this treatment center and the other treatment centers that we have across the country. Uh, we also even had to, you know, extend the reach to even think beyond just clinical care, what else can they support with? Um, uh, and I think we've seen in many countries where robots are being used uh, to support uh, the healthcare interventions. And for us, it was a question of why not Rwanda? There are three, six areas where these robots will be very supportive. These robots will perform temperature screening in our treatment centers. These robots will detect people walking in treatment centers not wearing masks so that uh, with a voice, the command post can be informed and quickly respond. These robots will continue education for patients and staff to enhance their knowledge, especially to comply with the government measures in the fight against COVID-19. Robots will facilitate patients with self-diagnosis at entrance or at the exit points. Finally, robots will be able to deliver foods and other essential products for, to patients who are here in the treatment centers. Basically, this robot will help us to reduce the risk of contamination of our health staff. 
which is a key achievement because one of the challenges we are facing worldwide is a rate of infection of health professionals while treating people suffering of COVID. So any opportunity of reducing contact of health professionals with patients who are sick, it's still a way of reducing the risk of being infected. They might go there essentially for treating, but for other duties, these machines, these robots will help enough to reduce the risk of contamination. Uh, it's uh, measuring the temperature, and as you can see, it can measure multiple temperatures at, at the go. And uh, here, the, the, the key advantage of this is that people, let's say if it's posted uh, at uh, a public space, like in a gas station. Yeah, like in a gas station, like a border post uh, or a market. Uh, the, there's no, there's no need to use the the. the demo flash. Yeah. So yeah. here it's giving uh, abnormal ten temperature mm -hmm. alert. So if somebody ever comes and has a high temperature, we've decreased the threshold to demonstrate. So if somebody ever come and has a, an abnormal temperature, it notifies them, tells them where to go, and also alerts the command center. Mm -hmm.